This guide covers all the actions the ninja learns from level 51 to 90 in order. We go over how each action is meant to be used and recommend ways to use it when relevant. We also summarize the changes in the combat rotation at level 60, 70 and 80. In the final summary, we outline an optimized opener and explain how it leads into the general rotation, alongside 2 minute burst considerations. We also touch on the stat priorities of the ninja. I will assume you already know the basics of ninja from level 1 to 50, and if not, you can view my ninja starter guide to get caught up. I will also assume you are acquainted with common abbreviations like GCD, OGCD and Weaving. And if these abbreviations are unfamiliar to you, I have a short describing GCDs and OGCDs and a short describing Weaving. Now then, at level 52, you learn the weapon skill Hakke Mujin Saps, which is the step 2 of your AOE combo. You should use this AOE combo in place of your single target 1-2-3 combo when there are 3 or more targets. Additionally, Hakke Mujin Saps also extends Futon's duration by 10 seconds, possibly saving you ninjutsu charges. At level 54, you learn the weapon skill Armor Crush, which is an alternative combo finisher. While Aeolian Edge does extra damage from the back, Armor Crush does extra damage from the side, and while Armor Crush does slightly less damage than Aeolian Edge. Armor Crush additionally extends the duration of Futon by 30 seconds, capping at 60 seconds. Keep in mind that Armor Crush does not apply Futon, so make sure to plan using Armor Crush regularly enough that you keep the buff running. If Futon is below 30 seconds duration, make sure that your next combo finisher is Armor Crush. A small optimization you can do if you for any reason cannot reach the back of your target but can reach the side is to use armor crush regardless of the futon buff duration. Alternatively, you can use true north to bypass this issue entirely, but the important part is that armor crush does more damage with the correct positional than Aeolian Edge does without the positional. Take note that if an enemy has a closed targeting reticle, meaning that the back is closed, then all positionals automatically succeed, meaning Aeolian Edge always does more damage. At level 56, Assassinate permanently upgrades to Dream Within a Dream, which hits 3 times for the listed potency, effectively more than doubling the damage that Assassinate did. This does not change how you use it, but fortunately Dream Within a Dream does not lock your position on the enemy during the animation. At level 60, you learn the weapon skill Furaijin. This is a recovery or backup solution tool, as it is by design a damage loss to use instead of your 1 to 3 combos. Furaijin applies a full Futon to you without spending a ninjutsu charge, so if you can't apply Futon and hide before the tank pulls, you can always just use Furaijin and save the ninjutsu, delaying your opener by 1 GCD. If you mess up and lose Futon throughout a fight, it is always better to use Furaijin than Futon. Since level 50, your single target and AOE combos have been fitted with ways to extend Futon. This does not really change your opener, but is super helpful throughout the course of a fight. Mainly because it frees up an Injutsu to use an extra Raitan for every trick attack burst. Remember, every minute you use most of your cooldowns in approximately the same order and timing as in the opener seen here. Furaijin is also introduced as a backup solution when Futon falls off or you don't get to apply it before fighting begins. At level 62, you unlock the popularity, I mean the Ninki gauge. Whenever you use a GCD, including throwing dagger, you gain 5 Ninki, up to a maximum of 100. You also learn the ability Hellfrog Medium, which spends 50 Ninki for some AoE damage. If possible, try to save as much Ninki as you can for whenever you apply Trick Attack, to get more value out of the damage bonus. Make sure to use Hellfrog Medium if you reach 100 so you don't waste any. On AoE, it is better to weave Hellfrog Medium whenever it is available. At level 64, you learn the trait Enhanced Shikuchi, which resets the cooldown of Shikuchi whenever you cast Raitan or Katan, or Hyoton, but uh, don't use Hyoton. This does not really change how you play, but it is very helpful for mobility. At level 66, Mug is permanently upgraded to also grant 40 Ninki on cast. Make sure to be at 60 or below Ninki when using Mug, so none of this value goes to waste. This will allow you to include Hellfrog Medium in your opener, and probably an extra one every 2 minutes for your bursts. At level 68, you learn the ability Bhava Chakra, which is a single target alternative to Hellfrog Medium. Bhava Chakra is better than Hellfrog Medium on 1 or 2 targets, and further increases the value in stockpiling Ninki for trick attack bursts. At level 70, you learn the ability Ten Chi Jin, not to be confused with the individual mudra abilities Ten, Chi and Jin. When cast, you must not move or it cancels preemptively. 
During Tenchi Jin, when you use mudras, you also automatically instantly cast a ninjutsu that is associated with your current combination, enabling you to cast a single mudra ninjutsu, two mudra ninjutsu, and three mudra ninjutsu in quick succession. There are two common sequences depending on what you need, one for single target and one for AoE. Let's start with the single target sequence. Ten, Fuma Shuriken, Chi, Raitan, Jin, Suitan. This enables you to follow up Tenchi Jin with Trick Attack, although you would prefer to use Trick Attack before this big burst. This issue is resolved in a couple of levels, so don't worry too much about it. For AoE, the sequence is very different. Jin, Fuma Shuriken, Ten, Katon, Chi, Doton. Here it is important that Tenchi Jin is used in close range to the enemy so Doton is placed correctly. There are of course other combinations you can make, however, these two are the most useful for the two different combat scenarios you will typically face. The ninjutsu's Hyoton and Futon should generally be completely avoided when using Tenchi Jin due to neither being particularly useful in the middle of combat. Tenchi Jin should be used on cooldown and it should line up with the damage bonus from Merc consistently, which is more important on single target of course, but still useful on AoE. When using Tenchi Jin on AoE, make sure Doton is placed with it instead of spending a regular ninjutsu charge on that. Since level 60, you have unlocked the Ninki Gauge, enabling you to stockpile some extra damage for bursts, or generally attacking with Bahava Chakra or Hellfrog Medium between your GCDs. Remember that you must not weave OGCDs while you are weaving mudras. You also learn Tenchi Jin, enabling a quick sequence of three mudras of increasing complexity. The important part is that Tenchi Jin cancels early if you try to move during it, so watch out for that. For an opener example, start with Futon Hide, at best casting Futon 8 seconds before combat starts. Then up to 6 seconds before pull, weave the Mudras for Suiton, and then use Suiton at the very last moment while running towards the target, weave Kasatsu. Then use Spinning Edge, then Ghost Slash and weave Merc and Trick Attack, then Aeolian Edge weaving Dream Within a Dream and Bahava Chakra. Then use Raitan twice and weave 10 Chi Jin and fire off 10 Chi and Jin in that order. Then fill with 1-2-3 combos and once you have another Ninjutsu charge, cast another Raitan. While using 10 Chi Jin this way leads to wasting the buff from the second Suitan, the alternative requires too many adjustments to the opener and the overall damage difference is hardly noticeable. More importantly, such an opener would be obsolete by level 72. Speaking of which, at level 72, you learn the ability Mei Sui, which allows you to consume the Suiton buff to generate an extra 50 Ninki. This is literally only useful when you use Tenchi Jin with Suiton, leading to an extra Suiton buff you cannot use. This allows you to trade this buff for an extra Bahava Chakra or Hellfrog Medium. The only change necessary to the opener is to weave Mei Sui after the Tenchi Jin Suiton, and then weave Bahava Chakra after the weapon skill after that. At level 74, Shukuchi gets an extra charge, enabling you to use it more frequently. Your step 2 and 3 single target combos also get a potency boost, but this does not change your rotation. At level 76, Kasatsu is upgraded to improve certain ninjutsus while active. In particular, Katon turns into Goka Mekyaku, which should be used on 3 or more targets, instead of using Kasatsu on Doton. It also upgrades Hyoton, remember that one? So Hyosho Ranryu, which as a reminder is cast with 10 Jin or Chi Jin, and it does an absolutely absurd amount of damage. When Kasatsu is active, you should use Hyosho Ranryu over Raitan. This means the first Raitan in your opener after Aeolian Age should be replaced with Hyosho Ranryu instead. Hyosho Ranryu is also stronger than Goka Mekyaku on one or two targets. Take note that both Yoshu Ranryu and Goka Mekyaku also benefit from the 30% damage bonus of Kasatsu. At level 78, Aeolian Edge and Armor Crush are upgraded to grant 5 extra Ninki, this does not really change your rotation. At level 80, you learn the ability Bunshin, which at the cost of 50 Ninki makes your 5 next weapon skills do extra damage. It also adds an extra 5 Ninki on each of these weapon skills when used. This should be used on cooldown, even though the cooldown will mean that it often will be used separately from your other damage boosting cooldowns. To fit it into your opener, weave it after Mug and weave Trick Attack and Dream Within a Dream after Aeolian Edge instead. You won't have the Ninki for the Bahava Chakra anyway. Since level 70, Mei Sui and Enhanced Kasatsu have improved the way you can work around Ninjutsus further. Additionally, you now generate even more Ninki, and Bunshin both improves your Ninki generation while it is active and boosts your weapon skill potencies. Let's go over the opener as it is now. 
Start with Who Turn Hide, then up to 6 seconds before combat starts, prepare Sui Turn and cast it as you run towards the target at the very last moment, weaving Kasatsu. Then Spinning Edge, Ghost Slash and weave Mug and Bunshin. Then Aeolian Edge and weave Trick Attack and Dream Within a Dream. Then cast Hyoshu Ranryu and Raiton, followed by Ten Chi Jin, performing Ten, Chi and Jin. Immediately after the Sui Turn, weave Mei Sui and begin your 1 to 3 combo and weave Bahava Chakra. Once you have another ninjutsu charge, optimally after 3 GZDs, finish with another Raiton. At level 82, Bunshin is upgraded to turn into Phantom Kamaitachi when used, which can be used once per Bunshin. Phantom Kamaitachi is a weapon skill that does damage with an AoE component. It also generates Ninki and extends Futon. Take note that Phantom Kamaitachi's damage is considered to be produced by a pet, which means that it does slightly less damage than listed. Every time you use Bunshin, Phantom Kamaitachi should also be used. In your opener, use Phantom Kamaitachi right after weaving Bunshin and late weave Trick Attack. Simply delay Aeolian Edge and Dream Within a Dream to 1 GCD later. This addition also means that the final Raiton should come up after 2 GCDs after Tenji Jin instead of 3. At level 84, your single target combo finishers generate a further additional 5 Ninki. Also, your Spinning Edge and Ghost Slash gets a potency boost. Neither of these traits change your rotation, aside from possibly letting you fit an extra Bahava Chakra at the end of your opener. At level 86, you learn the pseudo ability Hollow Nozuchi, which automatically activates when you have Doton placed and cast either Hakemujin Sats, Katon, Goka Mekyaku, or Phantom Kamaitachi. Essentially, when you cast an AoE GCD other than Death Blossom. This does not change anything in how you play, but does make Doton a lot more powerful in AoE scenarios. At level 88, Mei Sui is upgraded to cause the next Bahava Chakra you cast to have a potency of 500. It is unclear from the tooltip, but it only affects one Bahava Chakra. This does not change how you use it though. At level 90, Raiton is upgraded to grant a stack of the buff Raiju Ready. You can have up to three of these, but using a melee weapon skill that doesn't spend Raiju Ready stacks will cause you to drop all of the stacks immediately. You also learn the two weapon skills Forked Raiju and Fleeting Raiju. Both of these actions spend a Raiju ready stack, where Forked Raiju additionally dashes to your target, while Fleeting Raiju just does the attack. In most cases, you will be using Fleeting Raiju rather than Forked Raiju. At any time where you plan to use a single target weapon skill like Spinning Edge or Aeolian Edge while you have Raiju ready, instead use Fleeting Raiju. This single target potency boost also makes Raiton better than Doton on two targets. To round off, let's first talk about an opener followed by general rotation, as well as how this works with the 2 minute burst. And finally, let's briefly touch on stat priorities on gear. Let's begin. Up to 13 seconds before combat starts, prepare the mudras for Futon, and then 8 seconds before combat starts, cast Futon and hide. Then 6 seconds before combat starts, prepare mudras for Suiton, and 1 second before combat starts, cast Suiton and run towards the target, weave Kasatsu as you do. Start with Spinning Edge, and if you intend to use a Tincture, a so-called Burst Potion, this is the time. After that, Ghost Slash and Weave Mug and Bunshin, and then use Phantom Kamaitachi, Late Weaving Trick Attack. Now use Aeolian Edge and Weave Dream Within a Dream. Then do Hyushu Ranryu, followed by Raiton, and then Weave Ten Chi Jin, and then use Ten Chi and Jin, Weaving Mei Sui immediately after the Sui Turn. Then use Fleeting Raiju, Weaving Bahava Chakra, another Fleeting Raiju and Bahava Chakra, another Raiton and finish with another Fleeting Raiju. If the timing of the Suiton at the very start is slightly off, then use Spinning Edge before the final Raiton. This then leads to the general rotation. The ninja rotation revolves entirely around the burst every minute centered on Trick Attack, the only exception being Bunshin being available every 90 seconds, which should be used on cooldown. Make sure to stockpile Ninki Gate to use it exactly as it becomes available. While Trick Attack is late weaved in the opener, both it and Mug should be weaved as soon as possible outside of an opener. Remember that Suiton's buff lasts 20 seconds, so you can use it way in advance to make sure Trick Attack can be used exactly when it is available. This allows you to align such that you can fit two Raitons in every Trick Attack burst, making Suiton the only ninjutsu you use during downtime. At the earliest up to 20 seconds before Trick Attack, and at the latest before you cap out on ninjutsu charges. Kasatsu can also be used way in advance to get its cooldown started. During downtime, you simply use 1-2-3 combos, making sure to use Armor Crush when the Futon buff is below 30 seconds, or if you cannot reach the back of the boss. Use Armor Crush specifically from the side. 
Stockpile Ninki for your bursts as best you can, but remember that Mog grants 40 and Tenchi Jin allows you to gain a further 50 as well. Basically, all of your cooldowns aside from Bunshin and Phantom Kamaitachi should be used during Trick Attack and Mog when possible. Aim for approximately the same order as in the opener, although it is very likely things will drift around a bit throughout a fight. The important part is that all of the attacks land during your damage buffs. Remember that Trick Attack also does more damage from behind. If you lose your Huton buff, reapply it with Huraijin. Never use the Huton Ninjutsu while in combat unless there is no attackable target and there won't be one for the next 20 seconds. Whenever you use Raiton, remember to use Fleeting Raiju to spend the buff before returning to your 1 2 3 combos. For AoE adjustments, replace Raiton with Doton when there are 3 targets. Raiton with Fleeting Raiju is better than Doton and Katon on 2 targets. Also on 3 targets, make sure to keep Doton active and use Goka Mekyaku instead of Yoshio Ranryu when Kasapsu is available. Replace your 1 2 3 combo with the AoE 1 2 combo and use all excess ninjutsus on Katon. Bahava Chakra should also be replaced with Health Rock Medium. Tenchi Jin should be performed in melee range with the sequence Jin Ten Chi instead, to cast Katon and Doton instead. Take note of not placing Doton manually if Tenchi Jin is available. Mug, Dream Within a Dream and Bunshin can be used in the same way as on single target. Now for the 2 minute burst, Ninja literally just does the same thing as the opener, except Bunshin may not be available sometimes, and sometimes you may enter the burst with extra Ninki. As such, there's not much to add here. Make sure Mog is used before Trick Attack and place all of the cooldowns and burst within the buff window. Finally, regarding stat priorities. Take note that in nearly every single case, item level beats out optimal secondary stats. This means you should always prioritize gear with higher item level, as long as it has dexterity on it. After that, Ninja's stat priority is critical hit, then determination and direct hit. Determination and Direct Hit are almost identical in value, with Determination being a tiny bit better, so given the choice between the two, it should be preferred. The only benefit Ninja sees from skill speed is getting a minuscule amount of extra Ninki and GZDs over the course of a fight. In general, you don't want any skill speed if you can manage it, however, do remember that higher item level is still more important. Now, that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to support me and my channel, you can like the video, leave a comment, subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when next I post a video. And if you want to give even more support than that, you can also become a member of the channel like these wonderful people here. Fun fact, it turns out that Ninki means popular or popularity in Japanese. Additionally, the word Nanka apparently means something. This means that the weird looking Final Fantasy XIV creature known as a Ninki Nanka's name could be read as something popular. This community's dot Orion further added that in the Japanese translation, Ninki is actually called Shinoboki, 